got something brand new from DeWalt, the Atomic Series. You don't want to miss it. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Chop 2 Reviews. If you follow us on social media, then you probably already know that we talked about these Atomic Series impact wrenches and impact drivers coming out this fall, this season here in 2021, and we were excited to see them. What we didn't know is that we were actually getting them, all three of them. So we have the 3 8 drive DCF 923, the half inch drive DCF 921, and the DCF 850, which is the little impact driver. All of these are powered by the 20 volt system. They're all brushless motors. They're part of the Atomic Series, which gives us that nice compactness. There's also some more features that are brand new on these tools. Let's take a closer look. We'll actually use them. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about pricing and warranty. We got a little package uh, from UPS today. And I believe it's from Home Depot or DeWalt. I'm not sure, but I, I think that's the case. The cool thing is the package it came in is the Tough System 2.0. And if you're aware of the DeWalt Tough System, it's a really nice storage system. However, this one's a little bit upgraded. So you see the spring-loaded locks here on the side. That's really nice to see. Uh, and then we also have um, another little flip-up doodally there that I'm sure that will be connecting two other pieces of the Tough System 2.0 uh, system. Anyway, this is from the new Atomic Compact Series. We know all the Atomic tools uh, run on the 20 volt system as well as their brushless systems. And typically they're on the compact side. Voila, now we talked about these a couple of weeks ago um, when they did talk about releasing them and we knew we were going to be excited when we got them. By the way, I can automatically see one thing about all of these is that they're all compact, but also they're ready for the DeWalt Connect system here. So take those two screws out and we can basically connect and manage our tools uh, from our Bluetooth devices. Now let's take a closer look at each one of these. So we have two impact wrenches and we have an impact driver. Now here on the left is the 3 8 inch DCF 923. As I mentioned, runs on the 20 volt system. So this is a brushless atomic impact wrench. Very stubby. In fact, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put the calipers on here. So with the anvil, you're looking at 4.8 inches, so less than five inches. And if you look at the base of the anvil, like four and a quarter inches from tip to tail on this, really good looking impact wrench as well as DeWalt has really upgraded on their buttons here. I think they're calling these membrane buttons, which that's a, that's a good name here, how they have it set up here. So we have a couple of different, uh, we have two speed or power modes, and then we have a screw and a bolt mode as well. And it looks like we can turn the LED on and off. We'll, we'll try that here in a moment when we hook it up to the battery. Uh, we also get a variable speed trigger and of course directional lever here, hog ring style 3 8 anvil on the 923. Now over here on the right hand side is the bigger brother, if there is a bigger brother, um, let's just say a little bit bigger twin. Uh, basically all we have different is the half inch hog ring style anvil. This is the DCF 921. We get the same membrane buttons, really the exact same setup here. You get the same size from fore and aft as well as the, the height and everything. So I've, identical tools here other than that anvil. And by the way, advertised power on these is 300 tightening torque and 450 foot pounds of loosening torque. Now then we have the impact driver. So the impact driver is the DCF 850 and a little bit smaller than the impact wrenches. In fact, let's get a, with that quarter inch anvil, less than four inches from front to back or from tip to tail on that impact driver. And by the way, this uh, says 1,825 or 1,850 inch pounds. So if you divide by 12, that should be about 150 foot pounds of force with this little guy. I'm sure that's tightening force. Don't know, I'm not sure what the uh, loosening torque would be, but typically an impact driver, you're concerned with actually driving screws, driving lag bolts. Uh, and then a little bit different speed setting, uh, mode setting here. And that is one, two, and three. And it's more of a mechanical switch like we're used to seeing on the DeWalt drills and even the older uh, DeWalt impact wrenches as well. So 
we get more of that mechanical feel switching from one, two, and three. Now let's throw a battery on these and let's get a weight on these. I've just got a four amp hour battery. You may have a five amp hour, which would be a little heavier, but just wanted to give you an idea what the weight would be on these guys. So the DCF850, you're looking at three pounds, seven ounces with the four amp hour battery. Uh, and then the half inch anvil, the DCF921, you're looking at three pounds, 13 and a half ounces. So a little more than three and three quarter pounds. And then finally on the DCF, I believe it's a 923. Is that right? Yeah, the 923, which is a three eighths anvil. So about an ounce, half ounce, ounce lighter at three pounds, 12 and a half ounces. So again, about three, three and three quarter pounds, just an ounce difference between the three eighths anvil and the half inch anvil when we have the, uh, the four amp hour battery on there. So we're talking about a four pound tool at the most here. So even a five amp hour battery on there, this guy's still gonna be sub four pounds and to be able to put out the output they're talking about is pretty impressive. Now each one of these, in addition to uh, the power modes that we have here on one, two, and three, we also get a variable speed trigger. So you can see I can really slow that thing down about as slow as I want. Then all the way to wide open and then go to speed three. And you see I'm getting a lot more speed there, a lot more, more RPMs. Now we're gonna do a review on each one of these independently, but I just wanted to cover kind of this whole kit as we see here, then we'll use them around the shop and uh, come back with more of an in-depth review of each one of these models. Now we throw the impact wrench on here and we see we're in speed two and I can switch to bolt mode. So you see when I pull the trigger, is sensing that I, there's nothing there and is slowing that down really slow in that bolt removal mode. And then I have the screw mode there and then just power one, a little bit slower. Power two is gonna be wide open. So I can turn the light off as well. So now you can see I can pull the trigger, I'm getting no light, turn that back on and now I get the LED and it looks like, okay, so I have a low and a high setting as well. So that's the cool thing about these as well, is we get that surrounding triple LED effect rather than just something shining up from the base. And that's gonna be the case on all three of these, uh, the two impact wrenches as well as the impact driver. As with all your DeWalt uh, pistol style tools, we get that same looking uh, pistol grip, as you can see, whether it's an impact driver, an impact wrench, uh, even their bandsaw kind of has that same look. Anything with a handle like this, you're gonna see that same concept Nice rubber overmolding, uh, a good amount of contour in there. Um, a little bit smaller than some of the other tool companies' handles. So, uh, so somebody with smaller hands will still be able to grasp that quite well. Um, so very ergonomic handle going on with some good rubber overmolding that e even flows down through the base as well to not only provide that, that grip as well as um, be corrosion resistant as well as fluid resistance also. Hey, let's go use these a little bit and, uh, and then see what we think about pricing and warranty. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna test just the max rating on these. So we're gonna start at 150 foot pounds for the impact driver, which is the DCF 850. For the 923, which is the 3 8 we're gonna start at 450 foot pounds and we're gonna do the same with the half inch at 450 foot pounds also. We're gonna do two each on these. So we're gonna do these two at 150, these two at 450. Gonna skip that one and do these two at 450 as well. Okay, as we mentioned, we've got these two at 150. Gonna take the impact driver. We've got it set on three and got a four amp hour battery, fully charged. And here we go, 150 foot pounds. Not a problem for this guy. Not a problem at all. Okay, so 150 is no issue for the impact driver. Let's jump up to the three eighths. Speed mode two, we do have to use an adapter because we're running a 33 millimeter nut. So here we go, 450 foot pounds. Back to that in a moment. So let's go to the half 
inch at 450 foot pounds. The DCF 921. So I saw it moving after 10 seconds, so I left it on there. So I still have a full charge. I'm gonna, gonna go back to the 923. See our reference mark there, we'll hold it on there for 10 seconds and then give if it doesn't give. Still very powerful little compact impact wrenches. Uh, the two outside ones had no problem busting theirs loose, but of course the 3 a little bit of trouble busting that one 450 foot-pounds, so we can see it's right at the upper end of the range. Again, we'll do some more in-depth reviews on each of these, but just wanted to show you these out of the gate. Hey, just for giggles to make sure we don't have some anomaly, we're going to throw the, uh, the half-inch on here and throw it on this one here. All right, that was no surprise, really. I mean, I was a little surprised that the 3 8 didn't break that loose a little quicker um, or wasn't able to do so, but we could tell it was right at the upper end of the power spectrum for this. So literally, I'm sure it's the difference of the half inch and the 3 8 inch anvil. Now, we're going to be doing full reviews, as we mentioned, for each one of these, so we'll really see what kind of power they can put out. Uh, but I would not hold that against this little DCF 923 for the fact that it wouldn't break loose that 450 foot-pounds even though it did move it just a little. But these are very impressive for the size. As I mentioned, less than four pounds for these and less than five inches long. And this little impact driver is just absolutely tiny. So very handy to carry that around and still do the amount of work they'll put out. Pricing-wise, the two impact wrenches are going to be priced the same at $199 each for the bare tool. So no battery, no charge, or $199. You'll also be able to buy them as kits. We'll have those in the descriptions when they are available. And then the impact driver is only $149. So less than $150, you can get the impact driver as a bare tool. Warranty on these are going to be three-year warranties uh, from DeWalt. And also, you'll be able to find these at Home Depot as well as a few other places as well. But we do have a feeling that they're probably going to push these out to Home Depot first, especially being the Atomic Series. Hey, these are great little tools. We'll have the links in the description uh, for each one of these for the DCF-850 the DCF 921 and the DCF 923. Be sure to check them out and look for them when we have the independent reviews on these as well. Hey, be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And by all means, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.